Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is VLAN and why we need VLAN. VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network. VLAN is a logical network that can group devices or users regardless of their different physical locations. A VLAN is created at the switch. Why VLAN? There's many reasons why we need VLANs. In this video, I will talk about three reasons only. One, segmentation. Let's say this network. We have two departments, sales and finance. Both of them are connected to one switch. It means both departments belong to one network or one broadcast domain. One broadcast domain means when one computer broadcasts, everyone else can hear. This type of network design could cause two potential problems, at least. One, traffic congestion and poor performance if there's too many users in one broadcast domain. Two, security concerns because of different departments sharing one same network. To address these two problems, here are three possible solutions. Solution 1. We can buy more switches and routers. Sales department can has its own switch and the finance department can share another one. Now they are in two different independent networks, two separate broadcast domains. With a layer 3 device, a router in between, these two networks can talk to each other. Solution 2. We can create with two VLANs with one switch like this. Physically, these two departments share one physical switch, but virtually they are in two different independent VLANs. We can also add one router so that two VLANs can talk to each other using a technique called trunking. Or trunk. Don't worry about trunking or trunk at this point. All we need to know now is trunking or trunk can carry different network data over one physical line simultaneously. Solution 3. We can use a multi-layer switch to create two independent VLANs just like Solution 2. The difference is that we don't need a physical router in between. Instead, these two VLANs can talk to each other using inter-VLAN routing techniques, which I will talk about in a separate video. Here we just remember, with the multi-layer switches, we can create different VLANs, and we can also provide routing abilities across these VLANs without a physical router in between. The second reason is VLANs can greatly simplify network design and deployment. With VLANs, you are no longer confined to physical locations. Users in the same department can be located in different buildings or different floors. Devices with different functions or missions can be connected to the same switch. Without VLANs reorganizing users or computers, needs relocating them or rewiring physical data links, which would require hours of labor and a huge budget for any organization. Last but not least, easier troubleshooting and management. With VLANs, troubleshooting and management can be simpler and faster when different user groups are segmented and isolated from one another. IT people can quickly narrow down and fix problems without affecting other VLANs. VLANs also make prioritizing traffic much easier, allowing you to make sure critical application data keep flowing. For example, if your organization uses voice over IP or VoIP, you need to have a separate voice VLAN and ensure the VoIP quality while keeping a certain bandwidth for other applications. 
I hope this video is helpful. If you want to learn network systematically, please check out my playlists. They are organized by topics. Thank you very much, and see you next time.